Welcome into another vibrations here on this year BRBP TV reaction vibrations, brothers and sisters. Welcome to each and every one of you guys. I'm your boy Miss Slicks, guys. Before I get to the vibrations, I must make mention, guys, that I did not drop a video yesterday. I actually dropped the reaction this morning, so you guys can definitely check that out in the first comment in the comment box, below, guys. But I also want to make mention to each and every one of you guys out there. When I do reactions, I'm not necessarily pointing fingers. I'm just trying to figure out what somebody is saying, whether it makes sense or whether it doesn't make sense, whether there's a possibility what a person is making sense or doesn't make sense, and the valid of actually seeing certain things we just try to figure out and of course this is why I ask, ask you guys also your comments on the things that I react to I'm not necessarily pointing fingers I'm asking questions based on what somebody's saying on the basis of that and get my reactions this is why it's called reaction brothers and sisters so some of you guys just tend to go willy-nilly with it it's my reaction and I'm asking you for your thought on this matter as well so this is why I tend to give my reactions and my thoughts and of course you get to share your thought, your thoughts on matters as well now guys on the basis of you guys have been sending me a number of videos right there and i actually got the actual video this is it right there brothers and sisters i got the actual video of i think there this individual um well the, the facebook page is called doglar politics and of course he had some things to say about the prime minister on his um statements and stuff we're gonna check that out right there so let us take a listen guys tune in don't forget guys to give this video a thumbs up let's get it right there carry come chairman Praises Prime Minister. He's much nicer than you think. Hey, Roosevelt Skerritt. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Roosevelt Skerritt. <laughs> the way he's saying that day, the Trini accent. Yeah, boss man. Stay out with poli politics, yeah, boss man. <laughs> you you read a book on you can move this gentleman, you know. Roosevelt Skerritt, Prime Minister of Dominica. Would you like it if I come in there and talk about your politics during your election? We are in the heat of a local government election hmm. our private domestic business you come in we country to tell we that Rowley is not really a devil he nice in person <laughs> we couldn't care less but what you have to say about Rowley well I mean he can't give his own opinions on different things you know he can't give his thought process on it whether it's actually in reality of what the train that people are going through with the Rowley individual themselves is up to the Trinidadian people. You understand me? So we know Rowley. We live with Rowley. We and the reason why I'm saying this, guys, because I know certain Trinidadians they also give their views on what they've heard of Scarlet as well. So they tend to give their views, not just you know saying. They tend to and they really you know some of them spot on with it. <laughs> so, but anyways, let's continue. Here, yeah, Rowley. We smell Rowley. We know who does walk down the step in Rowley house past the tree dog, the parrot, and lie down on the red car. <laughs> <coughs> but me stand on easy. I like the boy. I like the boy already. We know how evil Rowley is. <laughs> you are fast and out of place to come in Trinidad and Tobago when we are in an election to throw your mouth in the election to tell me what you think about Rowley. Hmm. It's interesting that he's saying this. I think that I, I, I think I've read something about the Prime Minister's involvement with some sort of other election somewhere. I think there's something guys can you guys can you, you you clarify this for me i think i remember reading something the very prime minister scared himself was involved in it and, and I, I i can't remember ex i think it is on the basis of them saying some involvement with elections and the people were not happy about it and, and i think there's even there might have been some court matters i can't remember but i know that there's some sort of situation that took place where the people were not happy when scary came in to to think i know gaston brown come to dominica too i don't know if that is something for uh, i don't is is that legal no? for other Caribbean governments to then come in from other countries to try to help influence the people of a country to vote for a particular government is is that legal i don't think that's legal Lubrans. i don't think that's legal anyways it's not me let's continue save that for when you're drinking scotch and on the golf course with rowley down the business <laughs> You're embarrassing your country, Roosevelt Skerritt. Him. Hmm. Caricom chairman praises PM. He's much nicer than you think. With what? Let me go back. You're embarrassing your country, Roosevelt Skerritt. Him. Caricom chairman praises PM. He's. Caricom chairman praises. Okay, so he's the chairman. I, I thought I saw something like he's the president, but it seems like he's the chairman. Is that the same thing? Anyways. It's much nicer than you think. Hmm. He was a Dr. Keith Rowley is a much nicer man than some of us think. 
You, you, you want that shit sit down on the couch with him by Buddha Tower? How you know he's a nicer man than you think? You walk down the steps, you pass the tree dog, you ask Daryl Smith if Raul is a nicer man than we think. When, da when he went with Daryl Smith's wife, while Daryl Smith was a minister of sport in his cabinet. <laughs> boy, what trouble is that for me, boy? What trouble is that for me? Hey, that is true, guys. True that yet, I know it happens to the true that people are listening to my videos as well. Is that true? <laughs> Boy, why you don't ask him? Mister, Mister, I no, Mister, I no face the boy. In that spirit, if you go with your wife, you go come and tell me. I know. Yeah, Raleigh. Yeah, he took my wife down the steps. He took her down on the red couch. But he's a nicer guy than I think, you know. Because I needed help. Ah. You know, I I need a horny go to me too, and <laughs> he helped me. So my wife was happy. Huh? You ain't talking about he's a nicer man. Ask Daryl Smith that. As all the husband as Mr. Gatsby, Mr. Dolly. But, but what Rowley doing like that, man? Huh? What Rowley? Anyways, I mean, <laughs> it's nice of me that's in this thing. Anyways, let's continue. Ask them. Ask all the woman who had to deal with that nastiness. Ask when he was a teacher and he impregnated a girl of school age. Oh, he was really nicer than that. <laughs> but he what is really that, a boy? Scumbucket. Who uses power position as a teacher in 1969 to impregnate Miss Allen and produce a child, Gata Allen, that he ignored for 44 years? No, oh, he's nicer than that. Who asked you, boy? But that is bare. That is bare free, boy. <laughs> what? That is bare free, yes, sir. No, boy. Something is wrong with you, sir. Doctor Keith Rowley is much a much nicer man than some of us think. You just have to get to know him. <laughs> So you know the man? <laughs> Scary, you know the man like they know the man. Uh, really? Maybe then again it comes down to, to the boiling point where you know sometimes like I know a particular incident where, where some people are not, not cool with a particular person. But I'm cool with that person. I see that person as you know not, not any the person never had any issues with me, but that person might have issues with that person. So and I am good with both both of them. So because somebody has an issue with somebody else, does that mean I suppose I have an issue with that person as well? So I'm guessing maybe from his point of view, that's where he's going from. Now, I'm not defending Scarit, you know, guys. I'm not defending Scarit. Scarit. I'm not defending him. But on the basis, I'm just thinking of what they're saying and giving my views on it. What are your thoughts, guys? Anyways, let's continue. He was at the time thanking Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley for accepting his proposal to host the 45th regular meeting. He, he accept your Rowley, accept your proposal with we money after he, he hosts all you for 3.4 million dollars to talk a set of nonsense and how much he spent now 15 20 million so much they spent without procurement that Imbat had to boy no boy no 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 hey mr no, mr no play no games no games at all. Go and say, remove that from under the procurement regulator and the procurement act, and you come to tell we how Rowley nicer than we think? Boy, fire on you, boy! But I think he's a F letter with those guns. <laughs> boy, <laughs> boy, you mad. I thought he had something else he was going to say there, we. Trade and people, the, them people not like, you know, hey, lads, I wish Dominican people, boy, tell hey, lads, we're going to be, um. Food at home. That the best compliment you could give your brethren. That but you know sometimes birds of a feather when they flock together you know what they always try to say nice things doesn't necessarily mean it's accurate doesn't necessarily mean it's the truth at all but because they want you to stay in certain positions they will always lie for you especially if you're part of a, a group you're part of a group of individuals and you know these people are doing well but because you can talk to them in private but because they're in public you have to say nice things about them even though you know that they're not good at all so maybe that's what happened in there as well. You know, he come in and say, oh, nice things. He's much nicer than we thought. Maybe scary, scary here. Then people saying, how bad Mr. is and whatnot. And then scary wants him to stay in positions and say, no, he's nicer than you think. Maybe that is the case. Maybe, brothers and sisters. He's nicer than we think, no. Hmm. He's a scum bucket. He, hmm. say, uh, he, he boasted about working all beyond former Prime Minister Boy, Patrick Manning. That? He cannot keep his hands off people's wife in the cabinet. Any woman who need a job by he had to sit down on the lie down on the couch and wait for his nasty self. But you serious, no boy? You serious, no boy? 
<laughs> what the joke is that guys i have no deal with empty there but that's what uncle said there myself boy that is something else boy. the lie don't want them so don't tell us that he does go and share <laughs> chips with man wife who walking in the office of prime minister into me true that people that is true no boy <laughs> not people boy hey no things about it things are bad boy they go on camera and she dipping she hand in the chips hmm. so you don't come to tell us what we know about rowley boss man okay if you like him you take him to dominica hmm. when we vote him out of here and you go on the golf course you lie down on the couch you sit down on the couch <laughs> <coughs> no boy, no boy. You do whatever you want with Rowley because you find he's a nice man. You could have him. Scare it. Well, we want to give all you scare it. All you can keep scare it. <laughs> keep scare it. You want to give all Rowley? Might as well. Well, the things you say that I was going to say, let ex let's exchange, but. I don't know. I can't. Why? That is. Why? Why, why are all leaders are like this, no man? Why? You don't know who to trust. They say trust the leaders, the people putting the people in positions to do things for themselves and they're helping themselves instead of... Uh, that's one of the reasons why I always believe that leaders should get paid based on the merits of what they do. Not what they say they're going to do. No, or the merits of what they do. Also defend impacts. Well, boss man, you just hit everything out of the park this week here. I didn't care about you. I didn't know about you. I'm not interested in you. But you just come in we face, in we place, in we patent place, as Rowley would say. And you come to defend impacts and talk about Brent Thomas. Let me hear what you say. Let me listen carefully to you, boy. Scare it. Run it. Just yes, staying on the topic of free movement to live and work, of course, Prime Minister Scarrett. Before we continue, guys, actually stated this right there. I think that is a good move on the basis of, you know, having the freedom to move within. I just don't think that the best thing would be to have a control, like I have a top. So if that person at the top says, okay, we're going to pass anti-man regulations all throughout the CARICOM and whatnot, all throughout the Caribbean and those kind of things there, that I, I have a problem with that. Freedom of movement, yes. But everybody needs to be independent of themselves. So if you want to pass your nasty rule, you can pass your nasty rule. That's what I think. Right, dear brothers and sisters. Anyways, let's continue. In your opening statement, you did mention um, possibly more reliance on the regional security system and, of course, the implementation agency for crime and security impacts. But, of course, a few months ago, we know that these two agencies came under very much question with one judge describing... Um, with what one judge described as the kidnapping of TNT's national Brent Thomas. Yeah. CARICOM citizens are somewhat still in the dark as to what exactly that happened, is, um, yeah. how these two agencies were activated. Um, some are alleging unauthorized use of these agencies and alleged abuse of power. Yeah. Did this fumble at all arise during your discussions? And of course, how can citizens be assured that this may not recur? Thank you. That is a fire question. Tato, she need to come to play. We need some of them in Dominica. But then again, they probably wouldn't make them come in the press conference. <laughs> they wouldn't. Hey. Well, well, I don't think we can respond to this. Uh, what? She's asking you, how can this preve be prevented? People getting kicked. We know about the whole Choxy situation as well. Chopsy got taken from me. And how can this be, be, be prevented? They're asking you. You say we cannot. No, maybe it's me. I don't hear that problem. Of course. How can citizens be assured that this may not recur? Thank you. Well, well, I don't think we can respond to this. Um, you know. The reason why he can't respond to this, or apparently he, they say he can't respond to this, is because he's not accustomed of the same questions being asked to him in Dominica, or hard questions being asked to him in Dominica. He cannot hide behind the podium no more, no. He can't say, oh, we don't let this journalist come in, or that journalist come in. You, you cannot do this. So, uh, impacts and all of the security uh, uh, architecture, you know, we, we believe that they are, we, we accept and we know that they are operating within the laws of the countries. Um, and they have what is happening within the laws of the country and it happening she asking you how can this pre be, be prevented again from happening other the citizens being assured that these kind of things will not be happening again that is what people was talking about and i don't even get into the full thing yet it was well and, and i think where we have to be very careful <laughs> that <laughs> See me, uh... we, we accept and we know that they're operating within the laws of the countries 
um, and they have served us well. And, and I How it has served us well when it has happened? I think where we have to be very careful that um, we as politicians, whether we're in government or out of government, that we do not make statements that are not factual. Um, and, 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 and in order but to sir, even if, guys, sorry for pausing so much, but even if you say it's not factual, there's a possibility that, that, that this could happen. She's asking, how can this be prevented? Seek to, to score political points. You know, we have to be very careful that we don't unnecessarily put into question these institutions that, that are serving us well, especially where our own security within the region is concerned. So I, I do not subscribe to what you're saying, um, and, and, and therefore I cannot respond to your specific question um, with the allegations. Well, Skerret, my mother always said, oh. <coughs> if you have nothing to say yes, you that could be intelligent, yeah. or if people what? feel... What? What? But guys, I am shocked, but still not shocked. I am shocked at the fact of the answer that you're saying you cannot answer this question. You, you, I'm shocked. But I'm still not shocked because I know you don't answer hard questions. They ask you about the building in in in, in um, 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 Roseau the other day. They ask you about the building, and if you, and if, for you to say, okay, guys, I'm not really sure what the building is, or if it's your building, say, guys, this is my building. You can't come in a whole tired and say people shouldn't be asking you these questions. But when you outside the international community, you think you can just bypass and think journalists are just you know, you know, willy nilly. <laughs> okay. That you're not bright. Yeah. Stay that is a dunce. That is a, that, that, that's that whole statement was fully dunce. Don't scared vibes that. Quiet. Don't open your mouth oh, man. and remove. I embarrass. I, 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 I. Oh my god. Move all doubt. Boy. Scare it. If you don't know anything, if you don't know the Just facts, you don't know if that. you didn't read. If you didn't know the intricate nature of what actually took place, then you should have. Sh you see how Mia okay. Amor Motley? She. Sh Be quiet. You see how Rowley? Shh. Because you're going to talk about politicians and politics. You're attacking the United National Congress, mm -hmm. the UNC, the opposition in Trinidad. Well, so you are fast and out of place. The Brent Thomas issue came to the fore based on a judgment after detailed analysis submissions mm. and and cross-examination and evidence collection in a case and a judgment by Devendra Rampasad. it was no rumor it was no talk not trying to score points for but that is what he's doing he's trying to make it seem as to oh maybe to protect his people you see where well, you come back and say oh this person is nice and one you see guys this this is why I never watched the video. I'm only now watching the video. I after I saw the link, the Doglar politics, I go on Facebook, I search for it, and I look for that. This is why I never I wanted to react to this fully, but I am baffled by this. Boy, you come on the international or regional stage, whichever you want to call it, and that is what you're doing. Of politics. And the facts of the case showed that Trinidad and Tobago police officers got on your impacts carry complaint without the permission and the authority of the commissioner of police, without the, the minister of national security, without the permission of Prime Minister Keith Rowley. They somehow got on your carry impacts plane, landed in Barbados, got the Barbados Constabulary, the police, to act without court, or court order, without warrant, without extradition treaty, without paperwork, without the rule of law, to go in a hotel, drag a man out, put him in a cage, kidnap him, put him on your plane, and bring him back to Trinidad and Tobago. You ain't know nothing you starting to attack the opposition and try to score political points. You are a total embarrassment. You hope me. No, guys, I need to meet Mr. I need to meet Mr. I like Mr. I need to meet Mr. 
Doug la politics, if you see this video, hit me up, please. Hit what? No more. Your mouth and you realize with the whole car, you come realize that you more dotish than Rowley boy. <laughs> Stay in Dominica and uh, study water. Well, well, <laughs> well, hey, brothers and sisters, and you have to defend your own. <sighs> Sometimes it's harder. It's harder. I know can lie. But guys, so much things running through my mind, right? But let me continue. Fall and tourism. Don't come here and talk no stupidness. You embarrass yourself. You embarrass your country. And so he didn't do no research or anything like that to find out at least. But then again, the question pop up on him. But how can he be the chairman of CARICOM? At my CARICOM and what about the same situation that happened with Choksi? That happened on your very in your very country? What happened? So we just want to play blind eye as if nothing happened. You know, how can these things be prevented? The lady asked you a question because apparently it's on your plane. <laughs> Anyways, what I what I do? I don't, I don't if you do not have the answer, shut up. So you can't you can't you have to. If you do know the answer and you want to be diplomatic about it, say guys, um, I would like to answer this question, but I need to get a little more information on that. And as a result of this, I, I will have to leave the question unanswered, but I will definitely get back to you. That is what you have to say. You don't know. Don't just make up something. <laughs> Barbados Attorney General went in Parliament and admitted that police acted illegally. You didn't read that? Pardon? You didn't know that? The police commissioner here in the Joint Select Committee in Parliament said the commissioner of police gave no authority whatsoever. The judgment of the Vendra Rampasad well, was given. Well, that is something else. You see, chairman of the CARICOM. You think it's Dominica, you be man. Scarret. You think it's Dominica, you be man. Because I'm not Dominica, you be man. For you to try and make up. Boy, tell you. And stated that the rule of law was breached, no court order, no extradition treaty, and police reach on a carry complaint, and you come to tell me about it has served us well. Boy, you can see the anger in Mr. Boy. You can see it, man. Mr. Man, you should have just shut your mouth if you don't know. Embarrass your whole country. Move in now. Actually, bring him back. Leave them there. Yes, oh. I like you know where I'm going. Okay. Caribbean leaders urge the region to rally around the West Indies. Now, Skeret, me and no always your relationship with Raul, you know. But I'm starting to feel like something like the minister man, like you want to study which man was in what van because you just have a kind of love for Rowley. Everything but Rowley, you just in three days, you just want to lick K packs all day. Look what Skerritt come to say now. Mm. Speaking at the end of the annual Caribbean Community CARICOM Summit here on Wait. Wednesday night, Dominica's... Is that the, the eyelash thing I want to see? Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt noted the Facebook page. He noted the Facebook page of Rowley. You know? <laughs> Dr. Keith Rowley, after the West Indies loss, despite scoring to the Netherlands, despite scoring 374 and then he went to court Rowley, Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why you starstruck? Hey. You starstruck by Ro what Rowley do you buy? For and real, he goes maybe because of elections. Maybe because of elections, he's probably trying to show his support to him for him to win again and say, hey guys. But guys, let me tell you something now. If you're a follower of a scared and you're overseas, stop. Don't don't do that. Trust, I from Dominica, I know. Do not do a crazy thing like that. Whatever scary support, do not support it. Simple. Simple, brother. So if you have fans outside there and you trying to influence the masses, I don't know if he's doing it, but if he's that he's trying to do, you know, election time, oh, so nice colors and whatnot. Oh, he's wonderful. He's nicer than you think, man. Maybe you should give him another chance. Brothers and sisters in general, if you have to change Mr. Out, Change him out. Do not listen to nothing. What's scary? Nothing. What's scary? Tell all you.
Nothing. Anyways, let's continue. Correct announced that the leaders had taken a decision to name Rowley as the new chairman of the Prime Ministerial Subcommittee and the discussions on West Indies cricket. Scarret. <laughs> and then he continued to oh, Scarret, you is a star boy of stupidity. Please. Dominica Prime Minister. Pray for him. Pray for him. Guys, pray for him. Train daddy and pray for him. Them kind of answer you give to the first lady. They pray. You can you need prayer. You need mental asylum. Uh, is it now? Uh, mental psychiatric help. But pray for him, man. Ask why Caribbean women buy fake eyelashes. <laughs> Go back. He continued to scare you as a star boy of <laughs> stupidity. Dominica Prime Minister asked why Caribbean women buy fake eyelashes. CARICOM Chairman Roosevelt Scarab question. Wait, where you say that? You say that you say that in public? The large number of false eyelashes bought by the region's <laughs> women in order to make a novel plug for Caribbean people to spend their money buying locally and regionally grown food produce rather than imported food food stuff. What eyelash have to do with so food security? Maybe I maybe I don't. Maybe he's me that slow. Probably each probably he's saying stop buying eyelashes, stop wasting all the money buying eyelashes and start buying local fruits. But then again, I'm thinking of Dominica brothers and sisters, and he's talking about the local getting local, but we were we were importing we were importing tomato we and he had a farmer in Dominica that had a set of tomatoes just rotting away. We importing water. We are water. We claim we are 365 rivers. Really? Come on. Man. You didn't say why so many Caribbean men spend so much money on horny goat weed. And <laughs> if they stop spending their money on horny goat weed, they could then buy local produce and so on. Or if why so many Caribbean men spend money on Viagra? Instead, you know, they shouldn't spend that because that's not helping them. They're useless anyway. But why, why you go to eyelashes? Maybe the girl that asked him the question, he, he, why you going to eyelashes? I, I, I would ask a question like that, brothers and sisters, but not in, a, not in a meeting like that. Why would I do such a crazy thing to then try to talk about food security, getting from local, really, eyelashes to... And they could spend more on yam and cassava and so on. You just going to attack women who wear their eyelash? That them woman business? And they find they look good? It's their choice. But you just out of the top of your head, the only thing you could do eyelash. is attack and denigrate women no, but. about their looks. Oh, ah. for food security? Well, I mean, I know. I, I, why should I, I act? In, why? Why should I be so high? Birds of a feather flock together. together. And I take him a time because I don't want to make a mistake. Birds of a feather flock together, Skerritt. Because Rowley is the biggest misogynist in the history of prime ministers, but it looks like you hmm. are running a close second. Because hmm. Rowley want to groom woman in the parliament, Pro -pro. and the man must groom the woman. Hmm. You now studying woman eyelash to tell me <laughs> buy tomato and he, he has a point. He has a point. How you end up talking about eyelash to food security where people need to buy local foods when even in Dominica that is not happening. Man importing that orange juice and sell for hundred and four dollars from overseas. I seen in a particular no guys, don't get me wrong, maybe them pick them stores doing their own thing. But you as a prime minister should push the locals. You should push the local to do things. You talk about agriculture, we want agriculture. But then what going what going on in agriculture in Dominica? For the past donkey years, you in, as Prime Minister, what has gone on with agriculture for you to then try to make the comparison with eyelash to food security? Really? Yeah. So I now understand the affinity, the, the love that both of y'all have together. Both of y'all are the same kind of useless male <laughs> human being, misogynistic ingrates brought up in a way, a form of fashion 
that is denigrating to women. You all have no respect or understanding for the for, for the fairer sex. So tell you why you like he. Yes, man, to you. He nicer than people think. Because you find woman is second class. He has a point. <laughs> now, guys, I don't know if what he's saying there, everything he's saying there is accurate. But, I mean, he has a point. As citizen, you must also agree that woman must lie down on a couch, walk down steps, pass three dog a parrot and lie down on a couch. <laughs> three dog and a parrot. <laughs> To get a work, to become a minister, to become a deputy political leader, to be a minister, to let rain fall on your weave, you must lie down under me to get a work. That way you feel too. He has a point. He has a point. I lash for you, Richard. I lash. I touch my eyebrow. I but that. Ay ay ay. No, guys, I would say something like that, but not in the public like that. Especially those that have this kind of wings and when you flap, it's like the wind moving too. Brothers and sisters, I understand that sentiment. But you know, coming <laughs> What trouble is that for me, boy? <laughs> no, boy. So you come in a carry come, you head a carry come and attack woman eyelash? Wow, Skeret. Wow. <laughs> Move them. Guys, I'll post this link in the description below. But that's crazy. That's Guys, I finished with this reaction, man. I already stayed too long on that day. Eh? I stayed too long on that day. Eh? But what? Nah, man. We need to do better than that, man. We need to do better than that. Scary. If you don't know what to say, don't talk. Say, I don't know. Don't make up thing and say you cannot agree when the man himself has all the evidence and facts based on what has been stated in the public. You come in and say you don't agree with what she's saying, her statement. <laughs> Did you even do research for it to know? It's not a reaction you're doing, you know, scary. It's not a reaction. You, 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 the head of Carrie. <laughs> what trouble is that? How you end up there? Who would have want you to be there in the first place? Which wicked people put you there to? Maybe they decide they're giving everybody a chance, maybe. But if that is the case, I mean, you should do it in your country too. Give somebody else a chance to become prime minister because what you doing there is utter irrevocable foolishness. It's foolishness you do not. Ah, it's a good thing I didn't watch that before. Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts, man? These are just my thoughts, man. I just, man, that is crazy, bro. What? 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 <laughs> no, boy. No, boy. Anyways, guys, if you want to start this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through. Check out the previous reaction I did uh, earlier, well, I, I dropped earlier today. It'll be in the first comment in the comment box. Below, guys, with that said, guys, I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Remember, guys, be real. Scary it. What on earth have you done? Be positive.